So if you had a choice, would you live in space or on Earth? Well, I, I think given a choice, uh, it would be uh, awfully charming to move from one <laughs> environment to the other. Uh, seriously, if ever there were an opportunity uh, to be in space, even just simply to experience weightlessness, you know, in the special planes, it's something that I would seize on. We are making such advances nowadays that, and as I plan to live for a very long time, I hope that there may still be an opportunity that I shall be able to look back on this planet as some of our distinguished guests, Buzz Aldrin, Jim Lovell, have done already. When did you first become interested in space and in exploring it? Oh, as a child, um, I, 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 don't all young people look up at the sky? I was one of those that literally lay in a field at night in the long grass in the summer and gazed at the stars and wondered what was out there. It was as corny as that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had to live in space. What would be the one thing you would miss from Earth? Um, I don't know. Well, unless we had, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Earth-like gravity over there, a really good shower. Can you imagine trying to take a shower and the water doesn't come down? It just kind of floats around. It, it, it would make the mornings awfully difficult. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Thank you so much for You're your time. Welcome. It was lovely talking to you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>